Okay, my students, so here's the point that we are at science-wise. So since radiometric dating, like carbon-14 dating, has become commonplace, the scientific community now knows the absolute exact ages of bunches of different geologic events. When I say geologic events, I just mean events on our planet that have some earth science significance, like the oldest known rock, the extinction of the dinosaurs. All those things are not guesses or estimates, they're absolute ages. So what ended up happening is that there was a need to have a way to put all of the, this information together in a giant timeline called the geologic time scale. Now soon you will see the official way that scientists format it, but to get a deeper understanding of it, we're gonna relate it to something that is more familiar to us and really familiar to a lot of us, and that is a football field. So you've already made some predictions and your football field looks kind of like this. It has the today end zone and the before earth end zone. So this goal line where you'd score a touchdown is actually right now. So you've predicted actually four different events, but what I wanna show you now is how you're gonna figure out if your predictions are right. So you have this um, doc that has a bunch of different calculations to make about what yard line these things should really be placed on. And so here's our first example, the earliest fish fossil. And I've told you on your chart that the earliest fish fossil that's been found is 510 MYA. Now, this is actually not a Mrs. Fick is special. This is a common abbreviation. So that means millions of years ago. So now you probably have noticed already in your reading that for our calculations, one yard has to be 50 million years. And you might be like, Mrs. Fickus, no, one yard, 50 million, yes. Because this is um, an earth that scientists agree is 4.5 to 4.6 billion with a B. So in order to get a large enough timeline, um, 50 million years is one yard. So here's how we set up our proportion, and I honestly want you to understand why we do it this way. I don't care that at home you're like, marking it like this and doing all of your scratch work just so you get it. So remember when you do a proportion, you set it up like this. So we have one yard is 50 million years. Now I already have everything in millions, so you don't have to add six zeros to anything, okay? You just take the number in the chart. So one over 50 for one yard is 50 million years equals X over 510. Now you might be like, well, what's the X for? That's our unknown number, right? So we have yards to millions, yards to millions. Then a math teacher will probably say we do cross products. So cross multiply and then divide. So 50 times X is 50 X. One times 510 is 510. Again, notice I didn't have to add any zeros. Now, how do I solve this? To get x by itself, I have to divide because this is 50 times x. So if I divide by 50, 50 divided by 50 leaves us just one x, and that's what we wanna know, the value of one x. And so this comes out to 10.2. So that's what should then be in your chart, and you can do that right now with me. Type in 10.2, and then check this out. Whoops, I wanted to show you this. So when you go, and I know yours is a little different formatted, but when you go to place this onto your football field, you'll make a text box and you'll type in first fish. And I don't care if you make that smaller, like a 1ST. Notice that it needs to be on the 10.2 yard line. You have to think, is that closer to the 10 or 11? And 10.2 is closer to the 10, so put it about there. It wouldn't matter if you placed it the top, the middle, or bottom. Now be careful here. It absolutely would matter if you put it on the wrong 10 yard line. This is really 90 yards from today. So please make sure you're putting it on the 10 year today. We always count back from today. Okay, now the final example I'm gonna do with you though is about the earliest human. And so really our math does not change at all. This is our I wonder question. What yard line should we put the earliest humans on if the earliest humans were fossils were two million years ago? So I still keep my one over 50, right? One yard is 50 million years. I still wanna know what yard line to put it on, so yards to millions, I keep my X there. This time though I have a two. And so you have to be careful here. You divide by 50 every single time. So the answer is not the 25 yard line. You don't do 50 divided by two 
you do two divided by 50. My students, this is weird but true. The earliest human fossils are on the 0 .04 yard line. That might be pretty far off from your prediction. So now how the heck am I supposed to put that on the field? Well, let's think about this. Is 0 .04 closer to the one yard line or the zero yard line? And the answer is way closer to the zero. So us humans, should be in here, it's popping up. See how I put the one for first right on that goal line and it's barely off that goal line. So you will do this now with the rest of your calculations. You'll always divide by 50 and when you go to eventually put it onto your football field, um, you'll have a check sheet so you're sure that your calculations were perfect. I will give you this little hint. Some of the things are in billions, but then in parentheses, I've converted it to millions. So listen careful to this. If it's a number in parentheses, use the parentheses number and divide by 50. Okay, you're never gonna have to add zeros to anything, but um, if it's in parentheses, use it.